If you haven't watched the show Chair on Netflix by now, honestly, what are you waiting for? This is the perfect time to binge. But one of the show's main cast members, Ladarius Marshall, just opened up about how he struggled after filming Cheer. What's up, y'all? It's Emil Ennis Jr. here with Clever News, bringing you all the news updates from my at-home Clever studio. If you've watched Cheer, you probably know and love Ladarius Marshall for his sick stunting ability, or maybe for his obsession with dancing or Bad Girls Club. Hey! But the reality show took us all inside the world of competitive cheerleading at Navarro College in Texas, and we got to see everything from grueling practices to injuries to championships, but some parts of the show were more serious. Before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to Clever News and hit that bell so you never miss any entertainment news updates. And I just wanted to give you a quick trigger warning that we are going to be talking about some heavier topics in this story like sexual abuse, so please only continue watching if you feel comfortable doing so. All right, so while the show Cheer had its lighter moments, it left Ladarius, who got super candid about his past with sexual abuse, feeling exposed. In his interviews throughout the series, Ladarius revealed that he was sexually abused by an older boy when he was just a child. And for his recent cover story with The Cut magazine, Ladarius says that the experience of opening up to the cameras left him in a dark place. He explained that he even stopped eating and drinking, causing him to lose weight. But Ladarius said that he just knew Cheer was where he could open up about his story. He said, quote, you have to battle yourself and battle your inner demons because they tell you it is socially unacceptable to talk about it and you're being a wuss if you do. And I just don't see how that culture is even close to being healthy. That's like me going through my entire life and not telling my story. And Ladarius revealed that even before speaking out, cheerleading provided him a way to feel visible. He said, quote, when I'm performing, you're going to see me. In that moment, the kid in me is like, you're going to see me whether you like it or not. And I feel like that kid is finally gone. He definitely got what he wanted. But even someone as confident and strong as Ladarius was really worried about what people would think of him once the show dropped. He said, I never want it to be perceived as a victim. I don't like the word. I know what I've been through, but look how far I made it. But this whole experience and the show told him that he could be accepted for who he is, even with his guards down. Ladarius said, I don't have to have shields on. I just should live. You're gonna miss out on your blessings if you don't allow people to come in. He also spoke out about this in a previous NBC interview. I learned that I'm more vulnerable than I thought I was, and that I don't have to be so hard and so cut off from the world and have my walls up so thick that nobody can get through. I learned that I can have feelings and not feel weak. And while working through self-acceptance, Ladarius actually turned to one of his favorite artists for inspiration and motivation. He said, watching Nicki Minaj go through a lot of stuff in life and still make it and still smile and still keep going taught me how to do that. Because there was a time where I literally thought I was not going to make it. I thought I was already done, but I always had Nicki Minaj. And we love this because it's always nice to have a role model to turn to during tough times. But is there someone you look to when you're struggling? I would love to know, so get the conversation going about some positive role models down in the comments below. And feel free to drop some love down there for Ladarius as well. But fans are sending love to Ladarius on social media and thanking him for being brave enough to share his story. One person wrote, finally watching Cheer and I love Ladarius Marshall. I love anyone who is brave enough to live their truth, especially when the world tries to shut them down. Another said, Ladarius and Cheer is amazing and precious and deserves the world. Someone else tweeted, Ladarius Marshall from Cheer was so strong and brave sharing his story. He's the underrated star of the show and one of the most talented on the team. Sad we don't get to see him perform in Daytona again this year. Speaking of which, like many other canceled events, the Collegiate Cheer National Championship in Daytona, Florida was canceled to promote social distancing and to keep everyone safe. After the news broke, several stars of Cheer, including Ladarius, took to social media to express their disappointment. He shared this video and wrote, this isn't goodbye, Navarro 2020. It's see you later. Daytona, you will be missed and greatly appreciated. I love every one of my teammates and all the love we shared. The end of my cheerleading career has come a bit early. For everyone who supported me all this way, I want to say thank you and I love you. I'm heartbroken for my team and coaches. Long live the bright light we all shared together and the countless full outs we have done to get ready for this competition. Ladarius's teammate Gabby Butler also posted. She shared this pic and wrote, I'm going to miss walking into practice and hugging every single one of you. I'm gonna miss the love from this beautiful team. I love you guys with all my heart. And Jerry Harris shared this team photo writing, my family forever and always. This isn't a goodbye, it's a see you soon. But for now, it seems like the Navarro cheer teammates are all hanging at their respective homes, social distancing, and keeping busy on TikTok like the rest of us. All right, that's all I've got. But for more on the cheer cast, click right over here for a video with all the tea. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. and I'll catch you next time right here on Clever News.